barren. They will do many, many things. That kind of that person will not have baby. And then some people will say, oh, I have sex in the dream. Oh, every time people are attracted to some people. So in kind of that person that is not taken care, all kind of the enjoyment of that person is not in it does not belong to him. It belongs to the place that they are there. So that is why when we say, oh, let's let's kind of that person to do the event sacrifice. A bear is very, very powerful because they know you. They know your capacity. They know everything about your life. Everywhere, any place that we are going to, they are being with us all the time. So anybody that say, oh, I don't have shadow. That person, maybe that person is not with my bed. <laughs> any, the way that you have shadow, your egg is follow you anywhere that you are going to. There is no escape for that. Until maybe you take it down well, your egg very well, egg will take it down you very well. So the way uh, we told you that the egg bear again, yes, egg bear, yeah, kind of different egg bear that like your uh, other would be saying. Some of egg bear they have been known, they have been known to be well. When kind of that person marries someone, they will know kind of that person very well before they will share a relationship. That if the relationship of that person that's not good with them, they will not give kind of that person the way again. They will just hold it until that person know how the way they take care of that one. When they know how to take care of it, we share kind of that blessing to that to the offer. So all kind of uh, the ancestors and Egbert, they are not the same. Because Ebe is another group. Ancestors is human being. When we want to choose our destiny, even though Ebe don't know anything about our destiny, because the, the, the way that we choose the destiny, that's where we say Ire or Ibi. If our Ebe wants to go to the place that we the destiny, everybody will choose to do destiny. So that is when you know Yoruba, Yoruba always say anything that you want to do, or even when you do good things, just pray to your Uri to let you choose the good things in life. So all kind of that thing, there is a different, different character, but Nowadays, we collaborate, we collaborate everything together. So that is why we don't know Ancestors, we don't know Uri, we don't know Egbe, we don't know, even know Emery. Emery is a, is a part of Egbe, but they are a the, the different uh, group. <laughs> Abiku is a different group. So, but the name that we call all of them, Egbe, but they have the different, like, uh, you see the way Ogun, can go, but we are not all of them that are the same. Uh, Orisha, but the way that they are doing is different. So I just want to put it to you. Another question, again. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as far as answering you, Baba, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, atonement that's why we have the corpus of the five and all the tools that's encompassed in the five to atone. So if we have an egg bag issue, if we have an issue with our ancestors, we have an issue with our family deity, we have an issue with our Ori, we have to go to Ifa. We have to go to Amadillo to see what the issue is and where to put the atonement at. So I hope I, I answered that for you. And I want to, even though Egg Bay speak in many different verses of Odu Ifa and Amadillo Gun 16 Kari's, uh, two, um, Odu. I mean, two, uh, one is, uh, Odu Ifa is Ogwe Sa, which speaks very well, um, on Egbe about making that person very comfortable. The Egbe is going to make them very comfortable, like this, and also Obara, which I was birthed through Obara, and Obara speaks about, um, Egbe and making that person comfortable and that supports them. So those are two, um, reference, uh, 
Oduli Phi, and also Angela Boone, 16 Harvard. So if there's no more questions, oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it um, you mentioned earlier on, if I was hearing properly, that as far as the initiation is concerned, mm -hmm. that no one person could initiate here. It's not. It's huh? a group. It's, it's a, a group. group. Mm -hmm. But also in the group you mentioned that there is a lot of women. Could you elaborate on that for me? Too? Yes. Um, yeah. Usually during the egg bay initiations, it's not a lot of men around. <laughs> it's mostly, it's like 95, 99% women. Um, uh, the, the energies of the, um, and, I, and I'm trying to understand because maybe because the Alode is the head, which is a female um, egg bay, and they come through that energy, you know, as far as women, the, the, the feminine divine, the power of being birthed through women's ashe, you know. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a lot to it as to why it's mostly women, you know, birthing the, the egg bay, but the, the power that lies in, in, in women. You know, we birth, we birth Baba Laos. Come on now. <laughs> birth kings, Baba Lao, all of that. So, um, you know, it's, it's always been like that. Are there any egg bay initiations that's mostly men? I've never seen that, but can you answer that? Shango Saki? <laughs> conversation they talk about mention of negative mm -hmm. and positive now my I think like you should I know but negative and positive um, there was a Baba came down maybe just a few months ago and he mentioned we in Trinidad have something you call um, Sukunia and Lazarus La <laughs> Chavez <laughs> and La Gohu, right? In your knowledge, would you please these energies or what what you, you, you describe them as as part of being a death? I don't know what. When he came here, the Iyami and Osho of the land came to him, which he equated to Laja Bless and Sukun. He never, he never equated it to Ekbe. So, what we have now here, we have Sukunia. Okay, um, I'll sound because I've took notes of what he was saying. Now, just let us explain what Sukunia is. Sukunia, we have 
um, it's an energy mostly aligned to older women who would shed their skin and they go into a ball of fire. And they go into a ball of fire and they usually come through windows and doors and come into the person's house and suck, and suck their blood. Sometimes their energy. So some people would actually see certain marks on the skin. And we have reports that even down south, even up to now, people would go in the crossroads and either throw salt or throw rice. Because as with most of these um, these beings that suck energy, they have this affinity to count. They have this affinity to count. So when they reach this junction and they see rice, they have to stop and count. And they like to come and catch them. So they, they will come and catch them and get Or if they know where they, they left their body, their skin, it's a salt. Is that like a duppy? No, duppy is like ghost. Or what we call jumbi down here, duppy is that. Duppy is just. Um, and lagahu. Lagahu is like our version of a werewolf. But it also has a wizard like um, thing because they carry coffin, they carry chains, they make a lot of noise, they, they are shape shifters as well. And we have a lot of elders claim to be these things. And there's a, a we have a thing that when you have a clock in the night, if you have those long time door with the key, you take some dog yam key. Um, so you take that from your dog and you put it in the corner of your eye at 12 o'clock, at 12 o'clock, or what, what they call those bewitching hours, and you'll get through those keys, those keys, and you would see those energies when they walk. So, so I would not equate those with egg bay. I would equate those with Akabu. You know, because there are different entities that walk the earth that are not human. They're not egg bay. They're not Orisha. You know, it's like a limbo energy um, uh, that 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 is manifested. That do exist. They, they exist. People think they don't exist. They exist. They come and torment. Human. Um, so I, I include that under Ajagun since Ajagun came to torment humans. <coughs> they were created to torment humans. So I would classify that under that. They're not Aj, they're not the same as uh Awan, Yami, or Sharama. That's a that's a part. Ajagun is a part. Imole is a part. Egbe is a part. You know, they all they all separate. What, what you want to say? Yes, um, the same from the same, like Jenny was talking about, what the, um, the Baba, the egg bear, a leg bear, the leg bear was talking about, he said um, egg bear AJ and egg bear Osho. He said those are bad energies and they were lucky destiny and he was likening them to um, our folkloric Sukriya and Nagahu. He said, yeah. There are mischievous egg bags so that can cause havoc. They, they definitely can cause havoc. They have to be appeased. And you have to know how to appease them. You know, there are there are ones that have like um, drug addiction issues and things like that. It, that, that belongs to a specific um, egg bay. You had egg bay that's like war, like a fight, like very fiery, like the fight is on what we call that uh, jagun jagun. You know, you, you have a uh, very wild egg bay. I'm not saying all egg bay is peaceful, but in order to peace them and calm them down, you have to know how to calm those energies down. Um, and, and do, you have, you can only find that out through information. Think, um, you have mentioned Elere, Elere, not sure who it is. But yeah, he was saying that's the most powerful or wicked or mischievous group of egg bay. It is. It's, you have the mischievous group, and then you have the one that's nice and calm and pretty, you know. So it's always dark and light of everything. Yeah, you know, just like just like uh, Ifa has right hand Ifa. You have the wicked side of, of Ifa. Unfortunately, it, it, it is what it is. 
But um, say, say that. Like, so, um say the that right energy. hand of, of E5, there's a bad side to E5 and there's a good side to E5. Everything has dark and light. Mm -hmm. Right. Could you explain the bad side? Um, uh, really. <laughs> so negative, but like just negative. Why I'm but because but I never hear about any, bad any, side anything people. negative. People that do like negative witchcraft. I mean, negative things through through e five, through through their shrines, through through those the bad medicine. Negative, uh, we call medicine like juju. Negative negative things. You understand to acquire or to make other people suffer things like that. That's it's bad. It's, we call it bad medicine. So, um, yeah, I mean, it exists in everything. Just, you know, Christianity, you have dark and light. In Islam, you have dark and light. In, in Shango Baptist, you have dark and light. Everything is, is always a balance, <coughs> dark and light. You have to understand that, you know, with, with uh, Iwa Rere, gentle character, good character, Iwa Puele, you want to um, continue to elevate your ori, elevate your spirit, do your divinations, do your sacrifice, adhere to your taboos, those things, so we can go forth in our destiny, removing the obstacles and doing what we need to do while we're here on earth, so we don't have to suffer. Right. I have one more question to ask in the same light of what I asked earlier on. The women that do the part of the initiation, should they be, there's young women or old women Based on the old men, if they, as far as the menses is concerned, all, all that they ages, huh? all their different ages. Oh, so different, they different. They are not just barren women, uh. or or uh, child bearing women. It's a mixture. Oh. It's a mixture. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, I heard you mention on several occasions heaven and earth. I suspect you're saying that because of the audience, the nature of the audience. Could you explain Orun and I? Orun is, I hate to use the word heaven because that's a more Christian word, but it's a different space that different entities live in the, uh, another dimension or room. So there's different levels, dimensions within, yeah, multi-dimensions in the old room that the ancestors dwell, that Egbe dwell, that Arumile um, uh, dwelled at one point. And then you have Aye, the manifestation of humans, the manifestation of uh, certain um, spirits can manifest here on um, IA. So it's, it's two different energies, but as far as specifically Egbe, Orun, Egbe, um, IA, Egbe, IA, there are certain ent entities that is only from, in that, that come from inside the earth. There's certain en energies that uh, that are um, descended from Orun that, that, that come to the earth, but they, they're from heaven. They, I mean, that area, hey, lack of better words, but in that dimension uh, of a room. So it's a whole, it's a whole separate um, energy. It's just like the water is the water, the, 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 the clouds is the clouds, the, the Mars is Mars, the, all of them got different energy. Some are celestial or room, and some are I uh, yeah. Right. That's it. I want to say I declare.